Hello. We're back now with some more platform explanations, but first we're going to give you an update in the polls. So we've now had three more polls close at this point, uh, West Virginia, Ohio, and North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And it looks so far like out of all the polls that have closed, Trump's off to a bit of a good lead, even though it's still early into it. Uh, he's taken West Virginia, Kentucky, and Indiana at this point, and Clinton has only taken Vermont. So we're kind of seeing that Trump currently has 24 electoral votes, and Clinton's still sitting at three. So to win the actual U.S. election, one of these candidates needs to hit 270 votes by the time that all the polling stations have done. So while it's still early in the evening, we see that Trump is off to a good lead so far. For sure. So further discussing the platforms, we're going to be talking about Clinton and Trump's stance on terrorism and what they're planning to do with taxes. So, starting with Clinton, um, with terrorism, she wants to focus on strengthening our, ally, our relations with our allies, excuse me, and she'll be wanting to work to dismantle the global terror network. So what she's meaning, essentially, is Western countries, she wants us to all take part and put in our, you know, best effort to take down ISIS, especially the stronghold in Iraq and Syria. So she wants to step up support for local Kurdish and Arab forces on the ground and supporting our allies. Um, fighting against ISIS and, you know, doing their part. What is uh, Trump's standing at? Uh, Trump's stance has been quite confusing throughout the, uh, the campaign and the entire election process. That's um, for sure. So, you know, whenever during the debates he was talking about how he had a plan for taking down ISIS, but he wouldn't reveal the plan until after the election was done. Uh, the one thing that he has said is that he would be looking at either bombing ISIS or taking oil straight from them. And he has said before that he would bring ground troops into the different countries that ISIS operates in, but he isn't giving any specific numbers as far as that goes. Okay. So moving on now to tax systems. So Clinton is looking to do, uh, what she's looking to do, sorry, um, will not hike taxes for the middle class. She's looking to close the corporate and Wall Street tax holes that currently exist and hopefully will invest more into America's economy. Um, tax cuts for small business owners, such as her father, as she said in numerous debates, um, for growth and hiring opportunities, making these smaller businesses have a chance at the American dream, you know, moving, moving forward into corporate style platforms. So what is Trump looking at, especially with his history of being a businessman? Uh, you know, Trump, he's talked a lot about taxes in the campaign, and the big thing that he said is that he wants tax cuts for everybody. So he's not just talking about tax cuts for, you know, the 1% of America, and he's not just talking about tax cuts for small businesses. He's talking about getting at least a bit of a tax cut for everybody. But the thing that he's receiving a fair amount of flack for is that he's focusing on those larger corporations like his own businesses and giving them higher tax cuts than, um, you know, small businesses are just, you know, the average Joe. Exactly. So a little bit different than Clinton's stance we're seeing. He's more for corporate America. Clinton's more for small business. Yes. Perfect. All right. Well, that's what we have for you at this time. We still do have um, colleagues in Ohio that we're looking to get updates from for you soon. And we'll be back as soon as we can with more updates. Stay tuned.